your own way, don't go that way. Go the way of the cross. Jesus Christ is the only way. For God so loved the world. This is the most famous verse in the Bible. You know it. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Why? Why is he condemned? Because he believeth not in the name of the only begotten Son of God. There is no other name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. You can't get there through your own good works. You can't get there by joining the church and being baptized. You can't get there by giving your money to the Red Cross or the Salvation Army. You can't get there by doing good works like Mother Teresa. You can't get there by joining the church. No. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. Not of works lest any man should boast. It's not of works. You see, God wants the glory. God wants all the glory. That's why he created us. For thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive the glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy glory they are and were created. Revelation 4.11. So the purpose for which we were created is to serve our creator, our maker. God the Father created the world, and he upholds it with the power of his word. There is no evolution, folks. That's the lie of Satan again. You, you've been taught evolution that you're an animal in the public schools. No, you're not an animal. You're a human being. And we ought to act like human beings, and we ought to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We ought to love our neighbor, but we can't love our neighbor unless we love God. That's our problem, folks. It's a, it's a spiritual problem. We have a spiritual problem by nature, and we must turn to God. He's our creator, and he's going to be our judge. Hebrews 9.27 says, For is appointed it to man once to die. Once to die, but after this is the judgment. You will die, and I will die. Our bodies will go six feet under into the ground. And I know some of you here tonight have lost loved ones. Adam and Eve died. Noah died. The children of Israel died. Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob died. Everybody died. Your grandparents and great-grandparents may have died. And your parents will die. And you will also die someday. Don't live just for today, folks. Don't live just for the hour. You're in Hollywood tonight seeking some pleasure, maybe. God seeking is, some fun. God's not Guess what? Those that live in pleasure are dead while they live. You know, Moses lived for a while, and he chose rather to suffer the afflictions with the children of Israel than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. That's right. Until you see yourself as a sinner, you'll never go, you'll never go to Jesus Christ. He's the only one. The only one that can save you. Now, if you have a problem here tonight, I want to talk to you, okay? I'm very approachable. If you've got a problem, if you're struggling with drugs or alcoholism, I don't care what it is, come on over here. We've got counselors here. We've got some literature to give you. We love you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we want to share the gospel with you. 
A lot of you folks, you're just, you're lost and you're confused and you're out in Hollywood seeking some fun tonight. You know something, the devil has a lot for those who are idle and looking for fun and pleasure. But if you're serious, if you're serious about your relationship with God, then come here tonight and we'll share the gospel with you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the only hope for mankind. The only hope. And this is the hour of salvation. This is the hour, tonight. You may not hear my voice again. You may be visiting Hollywood. Tonight is the night. Don't put it off, folks. You've been struggling with an issue. Maybe, maybe you know you're a liar. Maybe you know you're a thief, a fornicator, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. God will come to those those that come to Jesus he will in no wise cast out listen to me those who come to Jesus he will in no wise cast out for as many as received him to them gave he the power to become the children of God even to those that believe on his name but you must come to him now is the time tonight come to Jesus while you have life you may die tomorrow. You may die tonight in an accident or a drive-by shooting. You don't know. Maybe you have cancer lurking in your body. Don't put it off. None of us have a guarantee of how long we're going to live. And we, the problem is, you see, again, we've broken God's law. None of us can keep His commandments. None of us. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If you lie, you're a liar. Okay? Maybe some of you don't honor your father or mother. You're breaking the fifth commandment. Maybe you're stealing. That makes you a thief, doesn't it? You're breaking the eighth, uh, the eighth commandment. You're bearing false witness against your neighbor. Maybe you're covetousness. Maybe you have a problem with covetousness. You want things that don't belong to you. That makes you an idolater. Think about it. You're not content with such things as you have. But Jesus died for them. Amen. Christ died for sinners. Christ died for sinners. Are you a sinner? Then come to Jesus tonight. Come to Jesus tonight. He's the only hope. He's the only hope for mankind. And there's all kinds of false gospels floating in the world today saying this way or that way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes into the Father but by me. Come tonight, folks. We're here for you. We have counselors here. We love you. We want to give you some literature. Thank you.